Yo what up you guys, Magic IQ here, and today I'm bringing you guys a little build for the Japanese Customs Summit. Now, first things first, I am number 259th in the world right now, and I didn't do that good on a few events. If you guys want a full guide on how to do the best on each event, make sure you guys go check out Rhino the Raccoon's channel. It will show you guys exactly what you need to do for each and every event, as well as the pro settings that are available, but I've decided to give you guys one of the pro settings that I used in the best cars for the Grand Race video. Now, if you guys are not aware, this summit is all fair which means it is basically the same as fair pvp so these pro settings that are used on this car also apply to the pro settings on the grand race i also included this car in the video the best cars for the grand race for street tier one so make sure you guys check out this build asap what i'm going to do is show you guys also the few shortcuts on this track as well as announce that this livery is now available that i spent a couple hours working on i think it's pretty cool i found a little picture of like an old school racing rx7 online and i really wanted to make some liveries on this game so i I decided to create this. I hope you guys enjoy it. I have Rhino Racing on there, Racing Beat Rotary Performance Parts, my YouTube channel, IQ Performance, and Q-Tuned as well, as well as a couple real life stickers also. Hope you guys enjoy that. It is available in the store, and if you guys want to vote for it on the car show for the custom show, I would appreciate that as well. But as you guys can see, we are able to adjust our pro settings here, so let's just go over them real quick. 55% brake balance. So for the suspension, we got plus eight in the front spring, plus nine on the rear spring, minus eight on the damper compression front, plus four on the damper compression rear, minus 14 on the damper rebound front, and plus 10 on the rear. For the anti-roll bars, we have negative nine ARB front and plus three ARB rear. And for the camber front, we have negative 0.25 camber on the front and negative 0.15 camber on the rear. I hope these pro settings help you guys out as well as a lot of you guys said this car was pretty slippery but honestly I think this thing is super consistent and very fun to use in the Grand Race as well as this event. So let me show you guys the shortcut as well that I know a lot of you guys came into stream last night when I was doing it. If you guys want to check that out I have a full stream on the YouTube channel saved in a VOD as well so you guys can just scroll over to the streams category but I'm going to walk you guys through how to do these shortcuts right now. So now I'm not the fastest on this event and I could clean up a few corners for sure, but it is pretty simple and we're gonna be doing this in one shot here. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through that real quick. So obviously starting off the rip here, you probably wanna lower your difficulty settings, unlike mine, mine are still five out of five, so it gets a little hairy around this first corner, but you wanna make sure your difficulty settings are like three out of five, maybe two out of five, it's up to you, but just something where you can get past and clean enough on the first corner. Now you're gonna wait for the second checkpoint right here and you're gonna go in between these buildings, try not to hit the vehicles and reset after the lamp. Now what you're gonna to wanna to also do is go into your accessibility settings and underneath the motor, uh, you're going to click convert holds to presses. You also wanna click the NOS as you're in the air on this part, um, is it'll get you a bunch of speed. And I decel for this corner, I don't know if I'm taking this corner the best so far, but I've been trying to get as fast as possible on that corner. You want to turn in as early as possible here. Doing this uh, race enough, you'll get your turning points correct, but a simple enough run as I'm showing you here will get you guys at least far enough to get platinum. Now you're not going to be competing for the world record or anything, but this run exactly, if you guys copy at least what I'm doing here, which is a mediocre run on this track, you will get into the top 100. As you see here, we're going to do the same cut again through the houses. We bumped the truck, but it doesn't really matter. A perfect run, obviously, you want to try and avoid contact there. I stay in third around this corner with a little bit of throttle control. Shift into fourth, nitrous in the air to pick it back up. Going over this, same thing, nitrous in the air. Downshift coming into the corner. Try to wrap that a little bit tighter than I did. Start turning here. Don't let off. Be overturned actually somehow you can dip into the dirt a little bit here to get a better angle on that for some reason there it made me understeer but usually you want to try and take that corner as tight as possible if you have to make contact with the pole it's fine it won't be there for the next lap when you go around and this should be about a 240 or something like that which should get you top 100 which is plenty enough points um, you want to go for the best points on each and every event that you can um, if you're top 100 on every event, don't worry, you're definitely going to get platinum. And unless you're chasing record times, I'm assuming you don't care about anything but just getting platinum. So I figured I'd make this little video on this car because I really enjoy using it for the Grand Race, as well as show you guys how to run this uh, race for the Summit because I know a lot of people have been asking. Again, if you guys want a full walkthrough of the entire Summit, make sure you guys go check out Rhino the Raccoon. He has supplies a lot of builds for this channel and I really appreciate him. 
This car specifically was tuned by Kois, so shout out to Kois for the tune on this RX-7. I really enjoy using it. Now, that will be a 241 while hitting a bunch of the walls, honestly. A pretty mediocre to, if not terrible, run. And we still got a 41, which is definitely going to put us top 100. I think that actually was top 50 before I reset my time. And it's 135k points. And I think the maximum for this event is 145k. So 10k off isn't that bad. And I obviously could have dipped into the 30s there with less mistakes. So that just goes to show you that as long as you know the routes, you guys can just consistently try it over and over again. And I think this one will only take you about three or four tries. This race has showed up in the summit before. And the reason I know this cut is because of Rhino. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you guys want any more tips and tricks involving anything else having to do with the Crew Motorfest, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, Comment and subscribe to this channel right here. I have a video coming out on how to win the grand races, getting more consistent, and I have tips from some of the best players in the Crew Motor Fest that were given to me that I wanted to share with you guys. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in to Magic IQ, and make sure you guys tune into the streams live over on Twitch. We're streaming all the time, doing grand races, and you can ask any questions you guys have for me over there. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.